it's dark, but hopefully we can see. Hi, Mike. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. You stayed double dry last night, I am sure. I'm very dry. Yeah. Did you stay hot? Hot and sticky. Yeah. Hard to move around in a bag. <laughs> so, we're at Rod Hollow Shelter. We did not film a lot yesterday afternoon because it started to rain. It only rained for about a, an hour or so. But then we got into a situation where we were racing daylight and uh, we lost. <laughs> so it was a long, slow day going up and down those hills. But we are out of the roller coaster, which is good. So we were tired last night. Um, the frustrating part was we passed up a workable water source. Workable, not great, but workable. To race daylight to get here. And the spring here is bone dry. And of course everything's wet because of rain, but uh, no water for us to be had. So I should have put canteens out last night because it rained like Yeah, it did crazy. rain. Yeah, we should have thought of that. Anyway, uh, we forewent our uh, particular, our fancy dinner and wound up just making enough, uh, cooking enough water to have some oatmeal last night for dinner and then sacked out. And so this morning we're going to have a trail fancy trail breakfast, uh, which would, would have been last night's dinner, um, somewhere uh, where we can get some water. So, yeah, fun times, fun times. And after all of my prep work and never having any blisters to speak of, I've got one on the first day, but it's on top of my foot. It's one of those from, I think, from going downhill. Uh, the, top knuckle of my big toe uh, smashing up into the boot and I've got a rub spot right there so I'll treat that before we go so anyway fun times day two beginning I am blister free and what I am blister free all right <laughs> I feel good I'm not even very sore this morning I'm yeah yeah I'm ready I'm I can put a pack on. yeah I'll be able to walk it's not a not a question we got to pack up in the rain Pretty good so far. Day two begins. One thing I didn't say last night about our experience was we had dueling owls in the woods out around us all last night. We had a barred owl and a great horned owl that kept hooting at each other. It was kind of cool. It's kind of nice. As Mike said, it sounded like somebody was us standing up on the hill going, but distant enough that it's like, was that a person? Was that a... <laughs> it was kind of fun. So it rained last night, as I said. It's wet this morning. Uh, supposed to be rain on and off all day. And we've got, what did we say, 13-4 to do today? And I'm tired of running into these guys. Spiderwebs? Yeah, see if you can get a shot of that guy. Here. We'll put, yeah, put him on the other side. See that little spider right there? They have been hitting us face to face along the trail hundreds of times. And that one I got within three inches of. the commentary because Troy's camera is not waterproof and as you can see 
We are currently walking through a substantial rainstorm. Smile, Troy. Howdy. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it is a cacophony of water hitting trees and leaves. But man, compared to yesterday, this feels great. So we were already soaking wet when we woke up anyway. So it's not a big deal. But if we don't keep moving, we might get cold. So you gotta pay attention to what you wear and where you put stuff. Because we're getting really wet.
Ha! We made it to Dick's Dome. It's been raining all day long, except for one stretch up on top when it was just foggy. So we're wet, but we're nine miles in and it's only lunchtime. It's 1.30 and we just finished lunch. Five miles to go. We combined what was supposed to have been dinner last night of a shepherd's pie with what was supposed to be lunch today, which was uh, sausage wraps and made some darn good eating. So we got five miles to go, but we're hurting. Not as bad as yesterday. I wouldn't say we're hurting. We're I'm tired. I'm yeah, sore and tired. That's hurting. Show them that. Oh yeah, I got a one one blister. Isn't that lovely? Woohoo! So I got no blisters, just lovely feet. Mm. Yeah, you can pick up cue balls with those things. So we're up the hill above Dick's Dome, about a 400 foot climb, and uh, leveling off for a bit. Um, as we said, it's been raining all day, and we are really uh, hoping that that's over. You get to the point where you wonder if you'll ever be dry again. Um, and it's just painful to take off your socks and stuff and dry off and then have to put wet socks back on because they it's too humid it's raining it it rained while we were at the shelter which was gratifying um, and uh, we're optimistic now because the winds picking up in the treetops so I'm hoping that that means the front is about to pass and all of this will blow out and clear out and we'll have some drier air coming in and the ability to dry our stuff Anyway, we're well ahead of schedule yesterday, so we won't be walking into camping at night like we did. Hopefully there's enough dry stuff to make, make a fire, because that'll feel really good after this 13 and a half mile day. Yeah? I still feel like it's drying out a little bit. Or am I I'd, just imagining that? I'd like to believe we're drying out a little bit. Rubber band.
<laughs> we made it to Manassas Gap. And polishing off some backcountry curry. And we even got a pathetic little fire going. But it's been soaking wet all day, so that's a challenge, or that's a an accomplishment, I should say. Here's the shelter, and Mike has set up his hammock inside the shelter, which is pretty cool. And my tent's back up that path a ways, past the bear bags, so. Home for night two. We're uh, not feeling too bad. Not yet. <laughs>